the way up to 44% here in the second game. It was widely because of their three-point shooting, eight out of 20 from three-point range. And look at this, assist 16 to Barangay Ginebra and only five for San Miguel and compounded by the turnovers of San Miguel, which uh, resulted to a lot of points of turnovers for Barangay Ginebra. And our leading scorers here, Hondiveros in double digits with 10, Tugari with 9, but if you look at the Barangay Ginebra side, balance, more balanced scoring attack from their players. And more importantly, when you look at the guys on the right side, a lot of them came from the bench of Barangay Ginebra. So far, the bench of Barangay Ginebra has outscored the bench of San Miguel 24 to 12. So that's the story in our uh, first half. Uh, San Miguel Beer starting out strong, Barangay Ginebra turning things around in the second quarter. Right now, they're ahead 48 to 41 with the possession to open the third quarter. The Gin Kings will start out with Helter Brandon Artadi at the backcourt uh, together with Eric Mack, Ronald Tubit, Willie Wilson. For the Pearmen, the starting unit here in the third quarter, it's Rosella, Mark Pingris, Tori uh, Tugade, Torian Peña, and Jay Washington. Right there, you can see the strength of Willie Wilson. And he was unable, or uh, Mark Pingris, unable to back him down. And then, talking about strength, Willie Wilson takes it underneath. Against the taller players, the taller uh, Jay Wash is able to get the foul. Now, Paul, I just want to go back to one of the stats that we showed, what we showed during halftime, which was field goal percentage. Obviously, at, in game one, San Miguel really came up with packages to disrupt the offense of Hinebra. And for Hinebra, coming out of that loss, they had to make some adjustments so that guys would be open, just like J.J. Helterbrand spoke about. At the, at the end of the uh, first half and you can see once you get open looks and uh, new adjustments to the uh, game plan of San Miguel you can see that the shooting percentage of Barangay Ginebra came up as well here in this game good point well for more updates on uh, both teams uh, we'll go down to Chiqui thank you guys coming from the dugout of uh, San Miguel grab a serious faces from the San Miguel Beermen especially the coaches as per coach uh, B-Boy they're not happy with how they have been executing their offense in the first half and especially their turnover so their plan is to stick to their offensive patterns, attack aggressively, but not turn over the ball a lot of times. So po sa Hinebra, if the Hinebra fans are wondering, nasa and po si Eric Mek, good news, he's not injured, but they are just pacing the big guy. Guys, all right. Well, uh, Eric Mek for sure will have his hands full here in the second half trying to contain the big men of uh, the Beermen. <laughs> Chuti Valenzuela just came into the court with his uh, sweater or, or his sweats on. <laughs> That's why even Ronald <laughs> is laughing. Came into the court with his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Washington trying to post up Wilson. Foul will be called here against... Uh, Willie Wilson. That's his second personal foul. Good sized crowd we have here inside the Cuneta Astrodome. Good afternoon uh, or good evening. I should say this is uh, our first ball game. Later on uh, also in game number two of their quarterfinal matchup, the Santa Lucia Realtors and the Rain or Shine Elastic Painters. We got it. And now Helterbrand with the steal and the two points on the break. The coach B-Boy Ravanas talked about how they were unhappy about their offense. It's the defense of Barangay Ginebra that is making the offense of San Miguel ugly at this point. They really struggled setting up maybe in the last 10 or 12 minutes dating back to the uh, second quarter. It looks like... Uh, the Beermen really struggling right now offensively as uh, Barangay Ginebra getting the rhythm, making two personal fouls. 51 to 41, double digit uh, lead. I believe this is the biggest lead in the ball game for the Kings. Physical play underneath, and this will merit the foul. Uh, 
Eric Mick, his third. Eric Mick pleading his case and uh, call will stick as Billy Mamarill now. Also another player who started out pretty well in the first quarter. Back in the fold now for the Kings. Benya. Ball is picked off by Helderbrand. JJ. Helderbrand wisely holds it back. Good pass to Wilson. Finding the open Artadi from the corner. And Paul Artadi gets a three-point bomb to put the Barangay Ginebra lead up to 13. 54-41, we have a timeout. Back to live action now. Earlier, you just missed a turnover by San Miguel Beer. They failed to cross uh, the half court line and ball was thrown out of bounds. This time it's Barangay Nebra with a turnover. Well, San Miguel really struggling. Because they haven't uh, scored in the last three minutes of this game. Make that four minutes already. Uh, because the last time that they uh, scored a basket was at the one minute mark of the first half. But this is even worse. It, it gets even worse for San Miguel because their last field goal came almost 12 minutes ago because their last field goal came at the eight minute mark of the uh, second quarter. So defense of Barangay Hinebra has really held down San Miguel. And San Miguel has to find something new just to instill new energy into the team. Well, speaking of defense, uh, Dorian Peña was forced into a turnover because of the defense. and. Now the Kings on the offensive, Wilson from outside and he hits it, everything going now for Barangay Ginebra. Here's a difference so far in this second, in this uh, third quarter. The shots of Barangay Ginebra have been open looks from Paul Artari to Willie Wilson to the layups of JJ Helterbrand. Every shot of San Miguel has had a hand in their face courtesy of the defense of Barangay Ginebra. Let's see an offensive foul called I'll turn you over now to Chicky. Guys, with the sixth man of Ginebra, the crowd being alive from the last huddle of Ginebra. High spirits ang lahat ng players ng Ginebra. Sabi ni Coach Shotgun, we have to focus on guarding Dorian Peña down low. But at the same time, ang kanilang uh, uh, battle cry ngayon, sustain the attack, sustain the defense, sustain the press, and keep on scoring every opportunity that they get. Guys. Well, our Tadi uh, had the right thing in mind, but the uh, pass went awry and... 56 to 41. They have a 15 point lead here. Let's see how they play the third quarter out. The same thing, uh, Jason, we're seeing here in the third quarter. Barangay Nebra with the bulk of the fouls. This is already their fifth team foul in the quarter. We still have 8.09 to play. But if you, if you believe that fouls are a measure of the aggressiveness of the defense of the team, then definitely. Uh, Barangay Ginebra has been the aggressor in this game because they're the team that has always been in the penalty. San Miguel usually getting into the penalty in the last minute or two of the of the quarters. Washington, turnaround shot, in and out. Pingris, yes, moving his feet, he will travel. And uh, Another turnover for San Miguel. They, they've lost their rhythm uh, here in, in the third quarter. And they've also lost their crew. You see a lot of players already complaining. And, uh, you know, when you, when you have traveling violations and when you have offensive fouls, that means that the defense of the opposing team is really getting on you. And uh, that's what's happening to San Miguel. Well, let's see if the Bearmen uh, can try to turn things around here. Uh, Pingris will get a warning. If ever there's a team that can come back, of course, San Miguel Beer is loaded with uh, players who can get them there. Inside incursion, Billy Mamarel with the lefty. And this is the biggest lead in the ballgame, 58 to 41. Now a 17 point advantage for the Kings.
Fallon uh, Tubin. And we're in the penalty, so Hunter Veros now will get some free throws. Let's see if he can get some rhythm off of these shots. And that's the only thing that Semigan has gotten in uh, the last 12 minutes uh, is free throws. Like we mentioned, their last field goal came at the eight minute mark of the second quarter and just on your screen, scoreless in the last five minutes of this game. And finally, Hunter Veros breaks the ice with a free throw.